hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you guys remember my previous video i had mentioned that i would upload uh, if anything interesting is happening in my life so here is a new video which is really interesting because we had been on a vacation uh, because it was a special occasion it was our 20th anniversary so me and my husband went on a vacation to a place so i thought uh, i would record and show you where we were going uh, this is basically a place called Hallbox. I'm sure most of you know Cancun. Uh, we have already been to Cancun a few years back, so we didn't want to go to the same place. So, But we wanted to go to a beach. So as we were looking for that, one of my friends told me that Hallbox is a very beautiful beach. So we decided to go to Hallbox. So the I will tell you how we reached there. First, we took a flight um, to Cancun Airport. This is the Cancun Airport. We reached there. It was through Viva. Uh, the flight was Viva and it took like around two, two and a half hours to reach Cancun. And after you reach Cancun, you have to take a bus to the Cancun Central. And from there, there are a lot of mini buses and taxis to Hallbox. All the bookings can be done online, but since we were not sure what time we would reach or, you know, if the flights would be on time, we didn't do the booking of buses uh, from Cancun, which I think we did a big mistake because as soon as you land in the Cancun airport and you come out, there are a lot of these taxi drivers or the tourist agents who try to, you know, come behind you asking for, uh, you know, your ser their service and they keep pestering you just like any other tourist place. So that is something which is really, really annoying. So you need to be very careful because if you ask them prices, they are going to give, uh, you know, high prices. For example, we asked one of the guys, uh, what is the cost? And he first said 7,000 and um, later he came down, down to 2,600 2, pesos for the taxi from Cancun Airport to Hallbox. Finally, we took that taxi, which is actually expensive. Or later we came to know that it was actually expensive. There were buses which you could take from Cancun Airport to the uh, you know the central and then from there you could take a lot of um, affordable mini buses for around 700 pesos so you guys be please be careful if you're planning something to something like this i would suggest to take a mini bus instead of a private taxi which we did a mistake but it's okay we got a private taxi for 2600 from cancun airport to direct uh, uh, not hallbox directly we need to go to a place called Chiquila. So from Cancun Airport to Chiquila is around two hours and two, two hours, 20 minutes. And from there, we need to take a ferry because Hallbox is an island. So from Chiquila, you need to take uh, ferries. There are two big um, companies of this ferry. One is uh, Nine Hermanos and I don't remember the other one. There it is. The one that is written there, um, Hallbox Express. So these two are the companies that the ferries that take you to Hallbox. While taking the ferry tickets, you can uh, take to and fro. That saves you some money. So we took the ticket uh, with nine Armanos. This is the ferry that we got in. It takes around 20 to 30 minutes to reach the Hallbox Island. So ultimately, to reach Hallbox, you need to travel by air, by road, and by water. That's what I experienced because we went in through all the three transports, and that's how we finally reach to Hallbox. One sad uh, part about this vacation uh, was after we planned uh, for Hallbox, I think uh, a week later, there was a big storm that happened here in Hallbox, which, uh, you know, uh, spoiled the whole island with a lot of uh, dirt from the ocean. Uh, it was pushed towards the land. And uh, while going, if you, I will just show you, uh, almost all the roads were covered underwater. So, uh, you know, as you can see, it was really dirty uh, because they told us that it was just a few days before there was a storm and, and it was a heavy storm. So it really destroyed the island a lot. But uh, since we had already planned, so we just went ahead and, uh, you know, uh, took uh, and our... Uh, 
hotel had also confirmed that the reservation is there. So after getting down from the ferry, you need to take these taxis. They're readily available there and there is no other, uh, you know, transport. So you need to take them. Uh, they charge you around 300 pesos to reach to the hotel. And uh, there is actually another route which you can take through the beach. But since we were new, we didn't, uh, we were not aware of that. And even, uh, I mean, it's a little difficult if you have luggage to, you know, pull the suitcase and walk. But, uh, but yes, there is another route uh, from the centro to the hotels. But yes, we took this taxi, which charged us around 300 pesos. And uh, while going, we could see that, uh, you know, the island was really destroyed with all the water and dirt. But yeah, when we finally reached uh, the hotel, we saw that the beach view was beautiful. Uh, you know, the blue sky, clear water and white sand. There was uh, dirt here and there, but overall it was a beautiful place. By the time we reached the hotel, it was uh, around four o'clock and we were really hungry because we didn't have a proper lunch. So we uh, ordered food there. We had some tacos, tacos de Cameroon, prawns. And uh, as I said, this is a view of the beach. And uh, this is the hotel terrace where there was a restaurant and also pool. The view was fantastic. And uh, when you go up, we could also see the sunrise and sunset. To be frank, when I entered uh, the hotel, I was not really impressed because it was a very small one with, uh, you know, the rooms very close by and it was a little gloomy. Uh, you know, it had these cottage kind of looks. It was not those conventional kind of hotels that uh, you expect for vacations. So I was a little disappointed initially, but when we came up, uh, my complaints were zero because it was really breathtaking. Next day, we went to Centro, which is like hardly 15 minutes walk from the beach. So we walked through the beach and we went to the Centro to have lunch because we were a little bored with the food from the restaurant because we had our breakfast there, lunch there. So we wanted to try something different and we came to this Mexican restaurant. Uh, I would say the food was okay. It was not that great. But yes, we tried to eat some seafood. I had some fish and my husband doesn't like trying new food. So he tried. He had his... Uh, Alitas. And uh, this is uh, an overall look of Centro. It's a small place, as I said.
this is how the hotel looked from outside um as i said it doesn't look like those conventional uh, hotels in the beach uh, it was little small and the rooms also were little gloomy i will show you later the room tour but yes it was very very close to the beach that was one big advantage <laughs> you could just come out and walk towards the beach so morning and evenings we really enjoyed the beach view and you know sat down there we didn't uh, plan to do any activity this time we just wanted to have some uh, you know a uh, couple time together so we just went there spent our time in the beach had good food and just relaxed near, uh, near the beach So this is how the room looks uh, as you enter. Uh, the room was pretty big, uh, uh, no complaints about that. But as I said, it looked a little gloomy, uh, maybe because of the furniture. But overall, it was a good experience. Uh, the first day I felt I wasn't that happy, but as we stayed there for three days, three nights, I really liked it later. <clears throat> After staying there for three days, it was time for us to come back and our flight was at 12 o'clock from Cancun International Airport. Hence, we had to start early. Uh, we started at six o'clock from the hotel. We took the taxi and came to the ferry, to the place where we could take the ferry. But since we had to take the 6.30 a.m. ferry and 9 Armano's uh, ferry was uh, only at 7. So our to and fro ticket got wasted. We had to take another ticket now from Hallbox Express. And uh, we went back to, to Chiquila. And from there, again, we took a mini bus to the uh, airport, the Cancun airport. This time it cost us only 700 or 750 pesos to go from Chiquila to Cancun airport. As I said, uh, the mini bus buses are very uh, affordable, uh, not as expensive as private taxis. So we took that uh, mini bus, which took us around uh, two, two hours, 20 minutes to reach in, uh, international airport, the Cancun international airport. So that was our vacation, our uh, 20th anniversary special vacation from Kerataro to Hallbox and then Hallbox back to Kerataro. Hope you guys like this uh, video. If you have any questions about this trip or if you want more information, do uh, mention that in the comment and I will be glad to reply. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.